Thompson residence. Martha Thompson speaking. Mom? Michael, is that you? Where are you? How are you? Listen, Mom, we, we don't have much time. This is my fourth try. We, we might get cut off at any second. I thought the phones didn't work since the attack. They, they do sometimes. Mom, listen, listen. You have to get out of Seattle. How, Michael? Are soldiers on the streets? There's a curfew after five, and they shoot anyone who breaks it. They shot at Mrs. Flanagan, and all she was doing was- Not now, Mom. You, you, you have to get out. I, I, I don't care how. Maybe you, maybe you could sneak through the sewers or something. Good God, through the sewers? This is my home, Michael, and I'm not leaving it for those Russian pigs to loot. If your father was alive, he'd say the same thing. Mom, the president has ordered that if- What? Michael, I can't hear you. If we fail- Damn it, just try to get out, Mom. No, Michael, you won't fail, whatever it is. And I'm going to stay here until this thing is over and done with. And Mom, Mom, damn it. We returned to the outskirts of Seattle where the final assault group was being assembled. The colonel reassumed command, the orders to retake the city no matter the cost. We all knew the price of failure. And so, early on a Monday morning with artillery rumbling in the distance, the attack was launched. Even with our reinforcements, we were way under strength. But what we lacked in manpower, we made up for in determination. We managed to force the breach pretty quickly, and the colonel led us through it into the center of town, near the main Soviet base. As usual, we found ourselves behind enemy lines, overextended and without reserves. And when the colonel finally called us together for a final briefing, Major Webb took me aside. He might have led us too far this time, Parker, he said. Just be careful, okay? Listening to Radio Free Seattle. And today, we have a special guest here in the studio. The Honorable Reverend Powell has a thing or two to say about the Soviet occupation. Reverend? I know that we're in a time of war. My brothers and my sisters, trouble don't last always. Over every mountain and through every valley, we shall prevail. And to those that have no might, your strength shall be increased. We must never, never, never give up. You got to hold on until every battle has been fought and every victory has been won. We're going to shout hallelujah. It is over and it is done. No need to worry and no need to cry. Of a brand new day, ha. you're gonna make it, ha. you're gonna make it, ha. we're gonna be victorious. Wilkins Battalion is coming at them from the east while we press on from here, sir. This seems pretty ambitious. How much time do we have? Not enough. The Chinese aren't very far out. We've only got one shot at this. I understand, Colonel. But if we tried a flanking move... Don't you think I've looked at all the alternatives? I've done nothing but that. This is the only way. But, sir, they'll expect and enough, us... Major. You have both been informed of the battle plan. I expect you to do your utmost to execute it. Sir... Dismiss. Gentlemen, we have to drive Ivan back into the ocean before it's too late. Wilkins has been held up by stiff opposition, so everything depends on us. Colonel, we're deep inside enemy territory. We have to stay cautious or we'll be completely cut off. 
The time for caution is past, Major. If we don't break the Soviet occupation within the hour, we'll be forced to retreat, and Seattle will be lost. I understand, sir. I'm just saying. Be careful, Parker. The Captain knows perfectly well when to be audacious and when to be careful, Major. Now get on with the attack, both of you! Parker, first we need to secure the immediate surroundings. You take out that guard post while Webb sets up a perimeter around the diner. Maybe we should wait for Wilkins, sir. If we draw too much attention to ourselves, the Russians will be all over us. Damn it, Major! What part of my briefing didn't you get? We don't have time to fool around. We don't have time to wait for Wilkins. Understood? Yes, sir. Just be careful, Parker. at once. Looks like Ivan is gearing up for an attack. Ivan's attack is underway. They will surround us if we can't fight them off. Get to it, Captain!
This is Eagle Six. The battalion CP is safe. Good job, everyone. Sir, we moved southwest towards the harbor. We could approach the main base from there and cut off the Soviet retreat at the same time. Good call, Webb. Parker, your company has the point. Lead us to the harbor. Eagle Six, out. Heads up, Parker. Enemy choppers inbound on your position. that the Chinese just cleared our island defenses. They took some losses, but they haven't turned around. accept anything less. As long as there's an organized Soviet presence in Seattle, the Chinese will be able to land their troops here unopposed. But what if we get rid of the Russians and they try to invade anyway? They won't, Major. For all their strength and manpower, they don't have the equipment to make an amphibious assault. Their only option is to land troops using the Seattle Harbor. If they try that with us holding the city, they'll be slaughtered. And they know it. Understood, Colonel. How much time do we have left? Almost done. Web here. The Russians are using choppers to airlift units into the battle zone. Parker, you deal with them. Use whatever anti-air defenses you have and clear the air of those choppers. Eagle Six out. Parker, what's your situation? I want you on the move and attacking. Shoot that to Hawking Hop! Sheridan, ready for the front! Target overrun! Moving out! We are targeting! Units 
standing by, ready to fire. Leaving for the setup zone. Destroy the target. Chaparral got the air covered. Leaving for coordinates. Artillery barrage was a no hit. The strike's almost clear. Yes, sir. Firing warfare. Moving, sir. Another bird bites the dust. We'll soon be rid of them for good, Parker. We're getting shot at here! Parker. Eagle Six here. I shouldn't have to remind you people that time is precious. Get a move on, Parker. One ship sunk. Give it to him, Parker. We have half an hour, gentlemen. The Chinese have entered Puget Sound and are now being engaged by our ASM emplacements on the islands. But that won't stop them. Half an hour until we have to retreat? Half an hour until detonation, Captain. Detonation? But how will we get away in time? We won't, James. We we'll either free Seattle or perish here. Retreat was never an option. But I thought... Okay. That's the way it is. Come on, Parker. We can do this. We have to do this. The harbor is ours and Ivan has been cut off. Now we go for the heart. The second Soviet ship is headed to the bottom. Well done, Parker. This is Eagle Six. I'm glad to see Ivan meeting up with Davy Jones, Parker. Excellent job. That base will be well defended, Colonel. I have no doubt of that, Major. Parker, you'll attack from the waterfront. Webb, you will hold your ground and protect his back. Understood? Yes, sir. I got you covered, Parker. Get on with it. Rumble, and Parker, Ivan will have his most elite units protecting that base. Take that into account when you attack. Webb, report. This is Webb. They're coming at us hard, but we're holding. I'd feel better if Parker and his people were inside that base, though. You heard the Major, Parker. If we don't destroy that base soon, it'll be too late. You've entered the lion's den, Parker. Clear those Russians out and finish it. Eagle Six out.
is Eagle 6. Colonel Wilkins just called in. We've delivered a decisive blow. The nuclear strike has been called off. The remaining Soviet forces are falling apart, and the Air Force is sinking their remaining ships in the harbor. Rally on me, and we'll see about organizing the mop-up. Well done, everyone. Eagle 6 out. CBUs. The day is ours and Seattle is secure. Well done. Well done indeed. Webb, you're in charge of the mop-up. There will be some who won't surrender. And I want casualty reports from both of you. Sir. We should all- oh. Get a medic! Hang on, James. You're gonna be all right. I should thank you, by the way. For what, Colonel? For questioning my judgment when it needed to be questioned. Don't worry about it, sir. Don't worry. Where the hell is that medic?! God damn them all to hell! They're counterattacking! Parker, gather your company! We'll make our stand here at the Space Needle! Wilkins has broken through and he's on his way, Parker. But Ivan must be jamming our radios because I'm having a hard time getting through to the Air Force. We might lose contact with them any minute and be cut off. Call in what reinforcements you can before it's too late. And Parker, take command of Major Webb's men. Make him proud. Chaparral got the air covered. Heading out, sir. I've lost contact with the Air Force, and that means no more reinforcements. We're on our own. Eagle 6, out.
Surrender is not an option. Contact with the Air Force and they're standing by. Bring in what reinforcements you need, Parker. busy and we'll hit him from behind. Over. But that was none too soon, Wilkins. Just keep those Russians occupied, Sawyer, and this will be over in no time. We're gonna do just that. Parker, move into the attack. It's time for some payback. Eagle 6 out. This is Eagle Six. That was the last of them. I need a medevac for one of my officers. He's been wounded in the shoulder. Roger that. I'll send one of my ambulances. Thank you, Colonel. Kill confirmed. Well, Parker, we actually did it. Seattle is safe, and HQ says the Chinese fleet is turning around. The war isn't over, but at least our homeland is secure once more. And it's due in no small part to you, Parker. I'm proud to have served with you. Eagle Six, out. Thanks, man. So, is it over? Yeah, pretty much. They're rounding up the final stragglers now. So, I guess we did it, huh? I guess we did. Hey, so you finally got that thing working. Yeah, I finally found some batteries. You want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 
Walk along, lonely feet of dreams.